Greetings, my name is Ben Brode, and I, I wanted to talk today about this, this phenomenon in uh, developer community interaction that I've, I've noticed a, like a couple times happened in the history of Hearthstone, I've seen it happen with other games, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about my perception of uh, what I'm seeing and why I think it's happening and how maybe together we can make it better. So here's what I'm seeing. Uh, there are periods of time during development where there isn't a lot of news coming out about what's happening. What's, you know, we, we had an expansion and it's been a while. Are you guys just doing nothing? Because there's no new news. What's happening? And uh, it feels like the week before we're getting ready to announce something, somebody will say, uh, guys, I'm pretty sure... The Hearthstone team is uh, lazy, and they're doing nothing, and they're just, uh, you know, just having fun and goofing off and not making anything because we that we haven't had any news, and um, uh, and also you know, feels like I bought a lot of packs. We should be having the things that I want. We should be having uh, deck slots and tournament mode and. Uh, whatever it is that, that, that each particular person is passionate about, um, where are those things? It's been years. Where are those things? And there's no news coming out. Um, so that's the message that sometimes happens, kind of it, it, that, that comes out like in these off cycle, you know, we release an expansion or adventure or something, and then a few months go by, and right before the next one hits or before the announcement season and the spoiler season happens, um, there's this feeling of restlessness and... I think mostly it stems from uh, a lack of communication on our side. And uh, sometimes uh, it's hard to avoid the lack of communication. I'll give you an example. Uh, before we announced Tavern Brawl, uh, this happened where uh, players were saying, hey, it's been a long time. There hasn't been anything new, new features added to the game. It's just been content. But where are all our new features? Um, and we had been working super hard on Tavern Brawl for many, many months. Uh, we actually started working on Tavern Brawl before uh, we shipped Hearthstone, if you can believe that. That's how long we had been uh, iterating on the idea and thinking about uh, ways to do it. And um, so it had been in the works for just a really long time. And, uh, and it, But it felt from the outside, if you're on the outside of the company looking in, it felt like nothing was happening. Um, and if you're passionate about Hearthstone and you want awesome stuff, it feels, feels kind of sucky. It feels like, hey... What's going on? So it's reasonable to feel that way, actually. Uh, but uh, the problem we had was uh, we have we had a um, a big plan for you know re announcing Tavern Brawl and then releasing Tavern Brawl. We don't want those to be too far apart. We kind of messed up actually with Next Ramos. We announced it much earlier than we uh, had we were we then we was wise. I think we should have released it, announced it much closer to release. And uh, it kind of made people say, like, oh, I'm tired of waiting. Just give me the next Ramos. Like, what's the big, like, what's the holdup? And so there's, you know, we announce things too early and it kind of, you're over it by the time it actually happens. Um, so uh, there's a good time to announce things and talking about it months and months in advance. Well, first of all, things could change if it's far enough out. We changed kind of the idea and the, the details behind Tavern Brawl many times in the years that we were working on it before it shipped. And so what's the point of telling the community, hey, we're thinking about doing this thing, but actually it doesn't end up happening. Like, you know, okay, we're thinking about this, and that nah, didn't end up happening either. And especially if, if for some reason it sounds really cool and awesome, but then it's like, oh, you know what? It's actually kind of hackable and exploitable, so we're not going to do it. And it's like, what? That sounded amazing. Why didn't you just do that? And now you're, we, we're disappointing players? I, that's not a great strategy. That, you know, It's much better to, uh, what is it, under-promise under and over-deliver than it is to over-promise and under-deliver. Uh, so, uh, we just, there's no reason to make players upset at us for not doing these cool things that we think we might do someday, but don't end up being unable to do or some other reason. So, um, there's a time that is right to announce things, I think. And, uh, it's sometimes, unfortunately, um, leaves these gaps where it sounds like, feels like nothing's happening. Um, so, uh, next time... We have a lull in uh, development cycle. And actually, Tavern Brawl's uh, one of, uh, solving this a little bit because 
Uh, every week there's at least something new and exciting and different about Hearthstone. Um, or you know, almost every week. Sometimes we repeat old tavern brawls. But uh, that at least makes Hearthstone feel fresh even when no new content and or no new features are coming out. But even when the, that's not happening, we are working on tons of stuff. Uh, even just since the launch of Hearthstone just a couple of years ago, um, we've done two new platforms, iPad and iPhone. We've done many adventures and expansions. We've done uh, Spectator Mode and Tavern Brawl and tons of other uh, features and bug fixes. And um, so we're doing stuff. And we have so many things planned for the future of Hearthstone. Uh, but it's not always the right time to announce that cool new stuff. Uh but, but we're never far away from the next cool announcement. So uh, whenever you're frustrated with the development team and you feel like they're not doing that thing that they should be doing, like deck slots, uh, the truth is we're, we're working on them. And we're, uh, we're, they're, not, they're not so far away. And um, there's just so many things that we want to do and we want to get things right. We iterate way more than I think most people realize. There's a great talk by Derek Sakamoto uh, that he did at GDC where he just kind of shows like tons of UI iterations that we did. I mean, we did so many versions of the collection manager of the game field um, because we just like, we just want to get it right. We care so much about the quality of what we put out there uh, that we do a lot of iteration on it. So um, yeah, it's frustrating when you're not hearing uh, like, what's the next, what's the next cool thing? Where's, where are these features that um, are very important to us? How come you're not making them and putting them out there? Uh, it sounds like you're not even working on them. And uh, the truth is uh, the opposite of that. We are working on them. We, we care about great features. Uh, and we have many that are uh, you know, in the pipe at any one time. So, um, yeah, even though we're not announcing it, uh, I think we could be doing better at uh, well, this type of thing, actually. I think that doing this type of thing, letting people know that there's there are people here and we are... Uh, passionate about the game and we want it to be awesome because we play it every night also uh, that I think I think helps a little bit so um, uh, yeah maybe that little insight will uh, help in some way thanks for watching uh, I appreciate it